finally, it was time to address this thing. Oh my god. There's a pan still inside. I haven't seen anything like that in my entire life. Firstly, it's giant and would definitely be able to heat a whole football stadium. Totally unnecessary for such a small house like this. Plus it takes up so much space, taking away potential this kitchen could otherwise have. It's just not practical. Also, what is this madness on the top? Like an air conditioning system? Which is just crazy. Why? All it takes is keeping on the top of chimney cleaning. So we started to rip this thing apart, it wasn't easy, plus so many dodgy looking half burnt electrical wires going on, which certainly have put this house at high risk. So we had to safely disconnect them. This was just a tiny fraction of that giant monster on the top of the wood store. It took us half day to get that top part off, which was built all the way to the ceiling. But at least that job was done and what a difference to the room it already makes. It opens up the space so greatly and I can just imagine how amazing it will look when the whole thing is out. But learning from the farm, I need to maintain a balance between these dirty, exhausting jobs and something that I really enjoy doing. Especially in the weather like this. Not bad, eh? See this patch here? So perhaps I can put it here. Ah. Hmm. Better than nothing, isn't it? Let's see. Okay, now. No, wait. My God, it's massive. Like, massive. Like, big. Hello. It's nearly, hello. Hello. Yeah, we go there. We go there. Stay away from my plants. No, leave it. Mm-hmm. 
da 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 da. Crazy. Anyways, anyways, something is occurring. Oh, I put this painting up here. Hmm. Okay. Sorry about the dirty uh, hob. Whatever. No point to clean anything because this damn thing is gonna get destroyed. It's gonna be lots of dust there anyway. So yeah. Potato pancakes tonight. I didn't put any onions with it. I know it would be much nicer, but anyways, I am feeling a bit lazy. Don't want to spend too much time on uh, on cooking fresh strawberries with the uh, sugar. Mm. Wow. Mm. Yeah. And that's us for the day, I suppose. Oh, check out my lawn. See the grass I planted. And this bush, beautiful, gorgeous. Oh, sorry about the fly tap. Look how many, how many of them I have already. See, bloody thing, see? Crazy. Absolutely loving it, especially in the morning light. These tiles give like a Mediterranean feel to the porch and it really feels like my own little Spanish finca. And all I need now is a swimming pool and sun chairs. Anyways, inspired by this beautiful morning, I decided to do something about my very boring looking bedroom, which certainly fails to represent the real me. <laughs> Clearing the way before I come in. Don't want to touch my flowers. Sorry, plenty, sorry. Sorry. Okay. We'll just slide it in.
when the shelves are in and when it's dressed and decorations and you know things like these because we have more stuff in our houses don't we it's not you know just bare walls and all white and i took the carpet off because snoopy he likes to sleep with me like in a van like in a caravan close by so it's snoopy's this is snoopy's territory at the moment and then i've got my wardrobe which i made in a farm for the farm but actually uh, fits here very well and also actually i will be using this wardrobe I will be keeping here and using as a room divider because this room is giant. It's, it's like, it's not like too, too big, but it's too big uh, for me to like feel cozy. Um, so I am thinking to make this uh, big room as living space, also as my studio space. So this wardrobe will be like a divider. And so possibly I will have studio space here and living space here or the other way around we'll see where the best light is i hanged up uh, lots of uh, funky colored clothes to make this life a little bit more colorful and then i've got my curtain i got this curtain from charity shop only one unfortunately they only had one but anyways it makes a big difference uh gives so amazing light to this uh this corner of the room so yeah i guess here could be my sitting space like a corner sofa or something and then maybe perhaps here is where the wood burner will go and so just imagine just sitting here uh looking at the flames you know snowing outside and you all nice and cozy yeah this wall looking tragic at the moment but uh, we are intending to knock it down and rebuild it then i had second thoughts although i liked it i just wasn't feeling it for the bedroom it was too big too bulky too overwhelming and what the hell i would put in those shelves like dishes pots or my own mother these ones you want which ones you want these ones or the big ones there the big ones there the big ones yeah okay we take big ones all right then so I got some lightweight material and made a similar looking shelf but smaller. For the actual shelves I found an old plywood, cut it in the right sizes, then painted over with the same color as my bed frame and all the other bits in the bedroom. And you know how much I enjoy painting. So yes, still in painting mode, I decided to abandon the shelf completion for the time being and do something that I haven't done for a long time. <laughs>
took it inside the bedroom and I was already much happier than about the previous painting. But I knew it wasn't finished. But knowing me, if I rush out, I can ruin it. So I thought I better stop right here until I know for sure what else I want to add to it. Instead, I started to play with the design ideas digitally. Thankfully, on a computer, you can add and delete layers and really play and mess around unlike in reality. So this is how far I am and I will end right here, leaving you guessing which design I actually went for. Meanwhile, comment which one you prefer and perhaps you have some different ideas. I am super curious to read them. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe, check all the links, join me there and see you next time.